Hi, and welcome to the sixth episode of Learning to Edit in DaVinci Resolve. My name is Darren Mostyn, and in this episode, I'll show you multicam techniques. So over the next few minutes, we're going to look at syncing up clips, adjusting selections, editing with multicam, and finishing a session. But first of all, let's show you what a multicam clip is. So here's our multicam clip, and this concert was recorded with five different cameras. So the five different camera angles have been synced together and joined to make one single clip. And what we can do now is simply switch between the different camera angles, which makes an edit. So it's a little bit like vision mixing, but it's a lot easier than regular editing techniques. So let's have a look how we actually go about doing that. So in the media pool, I've created a bin and put all the different camera angles in a single bin. And I've also got here the actual soundtrack itself. So if I multiple select all of these clips and right hand click, I can say new multicam clip using selected clips. What this does is bring up this dialog box. So the first thing I've got to do is name the clip. Next, we choose our frame rate. So we're set to 24. The angle sync is telling Resolve how to sync the clips together. So you can choose from mark in, mark out via a time code. So if you sync the time code to all the cameras, you can use that via sound, which is how we're going to do it. So each of these cameras took a sound feed or via marker. So you can actually put markers on each of these individual clips and allow Resolve to line them up manually using the marker. So let's choose sound. The angle name, we want to be the clip name. If one of the cameras has got time code breaks, you'll have multiple clips associated with that camera. And this box here will allow them to stay on the same track. So it's not seen as a separate camera. Move source clips to original clips bin. I'm going to deselect that. What that would do would create a new bin. And we just say create. So Resolve is now syncing all those files together. And here's my multicam clip. So let's put this into a timeline. If I right click, say new timeline using selected clip. And there's our new sequence with our multicam clip on it. Now it looks like a regular clip and it behaves like a regular clip. So you can do a mark in and a mark out from the source viewer and bring it down to the timeline. But if we want to work in multicam mode, you need to switch the source viewer icon here to multicam. And now we see all the different camera angles synced up inside that one clip. We can still make changes here as well. So even though Resolve has synced them up, we might want to make a little change to that. So if you right hand click on the multicam clip itself, and you can now say open in timeline and this will open up in its own timeline and I can see all the different camera angles here so there's our one two three four five angles and here's all our audio you could also slip one of the camera angles here so if it's out by a few frames you could simply slip it here and then once you're happy click back down here and that will take you back to the regular multi-clip view so just before we start the edit I just want to show you this thing we have here video video and audio and audio only. What this is doing is telling Resolve what to change when I change camera angle. We don't want the audio to change each time we change camera angle. So what I'm going to do is select audio only and press Alt and I'm going to select the actual WAV file itself. And then I'm going to choose which camera angle I want to start with. So I'm going to select video and I'm going to choose this one. So I'm Alt click and that's now selected. So you can see that the video selection has a blue box around it and the audio selection has a green box around it. So you can also change the view down here. We're in three by three. If you've got more cameras, if you've got 16 cameras, you wanna be in four by four mode. So I'll put that back to three by three. So let's edit. Check we're in multicam mode and we're playing back five streams. If your computer can't handle playing back five streams, you might wanna change the resolution. So up here, you could say playback proxy mode and go to half or quarter resolution. It's pretty important with multicam that you can play back in real time so you get a good feel for where the edit should be. So all I have to do now is press play and I'm going to use my mouse to determine which angle to change to. So all I have to do is click in any one of these boxes to change the camera angle. So let's have a go. So it's really easy using the mouse and just selecting the camera angle, but the other way is using the keyboard. Each of these camera angles is assigned a number on the keyboard. So in this case, one, two, three, four, and five. And by pressing the number, you change the angle. So it feels a lot more like vision mixing. So let's have a go at that. You won't be till I put 
And just because we're switching camera angles live doesn't mean that we can't make changes afterwards. So if there's a particular camera angle that you didn't want to choose, you can just go to it. So we say here, and that was camera four that we switched to. And if you just press Alt and choose a different camera angle, so let's choose angle three, it just updates in the timeline. Simple. The other way of doing that is just right hand clicking. So let's go to the shot before it and right hand click and you can say switch multicam angle and they're listed here. So it's currently on three. We can just switch that to camera one and that's done. So what we could do now is tweak the edit point as well. So the point at which the camera changed can be easily edited as well. So we're just going to use traditional editing techniques that we've looked at in other episodes. So I would suggest that you're in the regular editing mode. You don't really want to be in trim edit mode, which will ripple your timeline. So make sure you're in this one. Select an edit point that you want to change. Make sure you're in double square brackets and simply move with your mouse or you can use the arrow keys and you're literally changing the edit. What you can do once you finish your session and you're happy with all the edits and you've chosen the correct camera angles that you wanted, you can flatten the session. And what this does is put your five streams of video into one single stream. So it's really good for getting real-time playback. Worth duplicating the multicam sequence first, just in case you change your mind. So just right-hand click and say duplicate timeline. And the other thing you can do is if you right-hand click and say open in timeline, here you can see all the five streams of video that we've been playing, so it's the five camera angles. And if you switch to the color page, you could grade these angles, and you only have to grade them once. So it doesn't matter how many times they appear in the edit, you only have to grade each angle once. So this is where Resolve is really powerful, because you can switch between the color page and the edit page as many times as you like at any stage in the workflow. So once you're happy, to flatten down, just highlight all your clips, right-hand click, and say Flatten Multicam Clip. And you'll see now that I don't have the option to open in timeline. This is now a single stream of video. So now you've mastered multicam editing. In the next episode, we're going to look at getting the best performance out of your machine. And I've called it supporting the workflow in DaVinci Resolve. Thanks for listening.